Hello everyone, welcome to APO Productivity Talk. Interviews, discussion on the current and emerging trends relating to productivity enhancement and innovation in industry, service, agriculture and public sectors. With experts, policymakers, industry players, academia from Asia and around the world. I'm Zainuri from the APO Secretariat. Viewers, ladies and gentlemen, in many countries these days, governments plays a crucial role in SMEs to boost their performance and economic growth because it creates, they are the one who create employment opportunities, power reduction and economic development. However, SMEs are badly affected with the ongoing pandemic and many of them are suffering and need to support to revitalize and bounce back to the business. In Japan, where 99.7 enterprises are registered as SMEs, the local government as well as central government are providing range of support in both hard and soft skills. So today, with the topic, local government support for SMEs, we are very honored to have Mr. Yuki Tano, Chief Executive and Management Consultant, Aggregator Japan. Mr. Tano, welcome to APO Productivity Talk. How are you today, Mr. Tano? I'm, I'm pretty fine. Thank you for inviting me to join this APO Talks. Um, my name is Yuki Toshi Tano. I am Management Consultant, specializing in SME. I have been uh, recently involved uh, for the SME productivity improvement as well as business development, uh, including uh, business model change. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Tano, uh, a consultant with a, a very long experience in SMEs, not only in Japan as well as overseas. So joining us from Kagoshima, Mr. Takayuki Hirabayashi, Head of Department Commerce, Industry, Labor and Fisheries, Kagoshima Prefectural Government. Welcome to APO Productivity Talk, Mr. Hirabayashi. Thank you for being with us. How are you today, sir? Good, very good. So uh, thank you for the giving the opportunity to take part in this, uh, the, the seminar. So my name is Hirabayashi, Takayuki Hirabayashi, Director General of Commerce, Industry, Labor and Fisheries Department of Kagoshima Prefecture uh, Government. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Hirabayashi. Thank you so much, Mr. Tano, for joining us uh, in this productivity talk, talking about the local support, local government support to the SMEs. So, uh, viewers, ladies and gentlemen, before I invite uh, Mr. Tano as well as Mr. Hirabayashi to share their in views, their insights about the topic. So, I would like to listen from them, the, their opinion about what are the lessons learned by SMEs in facing the pandemic. So may I start with Mr. Hirabayashi? What what is your opinion about SMEs? What are the lessons learned happened to them due to this uh, pandemic, sir? Yeah, I'll just give you the short message. But uh, the, I think the small and medium businesses in Kagoshima have been heavily affected by COVID-19. But on the other hand, it seems that the priority of digitalization for the business policies will become higher and COVID. And I think they recognize the significance of digital uh, the revolution and the innovation gain. Yes. Thank you very much, Mr. Tano. Uh, sorry, Mr. Hirabayashi. What about you, Mr. Tano? Yes, a key lesson learned is uh, two things. Diversity of the portfolio, business portfolio, and ability to adapt the changes. The, for example, the COVID-19 has shown the danger if you your business rely on one single business or product or services or limited customer base. It is very dangerous. For example, the food processing industry, the product is very good for general consumer. However, the product for professional use have struggled due to the shutdown of the restaurant chain. In that way, the key to survival is to develop new products and new customer very quickly and adapting environmental change, even if it is a small step. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for sharing your opinions and views. So we learned that the pandemic is not only giving a negative impact to the SMEs, but also to give some opportunity for them to grow, to expand, 
and to accelerate the uh, digitizations uh, and to be, for them to be more agile and also opportunity for them to create a new product, uh, create a new customers, which is, is good for their, for their survival for the long term. Um, without further ado, uh, let me invite first Mr. Tano to share his overview on Japan SMEs, also to share with us type of support given by the government, both central and local government. So may I invite you, Mr. Tano, to share your uh, presentation, sir? Thank you. So let me share my screen first. Okay, today the topic is, uh, yes. Uh, Japan economy has been severely damaged by COVID-19, as Mr. Zainuri already mentioned. In addition, unlike large corporations, SMA's impact was tremendous. As a result, many of them have shut down their business or they are facing threat of bankruptcy. To cope with the post-corona society, they must move to new business model and enter new field. For APO country members, member countries, I believe the same goes on your side. Today, I would like to uh, talk about the support system of the central and local government for SMEs, which is critical to overcome this disaster and reviving and growing the Japanese, Japanese economy. Let's move on. Okay, this is the today's agenda. First, I would like to give you some basic information regarding SMEs and SME support network. The next, I will overview governmental measure to deal with the corona pandemic and adapt new business practices under the new normal society. In particular, I would like to highlight a business reconstruction project currently focused on and the subsidy for SMEs to transform their business and encourage them to enter the new field and the new market. And finally, I may say, okay, finally, I will, uh, I will explain the support case for local government I will introduce a project of mechanical industrial collaboration in the Tokyo Metropolitan Government and the new business development project of Kagoshima Prefecture, which I have been involved in. Okay. Next, the basics. As already shown, uh, as already explained, 99.7% number of the, uh, as already shown, the number of the SMEs count for 99.7%. And large enterprise, only 0.3%. Percentage of the labor in the private sector for nearly 70%. The total value added of entire economy, SME's contribution is more than 50%. As mentioned earlier, SME are indispensable for revival of the Japanese economy and the growth of growth strategy of Japan. I'm sure the situation is quite the same in your country. This is just for your reference, the definition of the SMEs. If your company meets either A condition, for example, capital, or B condition, the number of the employee, it will be categorized as SME. In the case of manufacturing, capital must be 300 million yen or less, or number of employee must be 300 or less categorized as a SME. Even before COVID-19, the support network was available to help SME solve the various problems. With the central government support, including a MITI, Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry, and the SME agency, regional one-stop office, 
has been operated in 47 prefectures nationwide. In addition, more than 1,700 cities, towns, and villages has their own support functions for SMEs. Prefectural Support Center, Chamber of Commerce and Industry, financial institutions, and the university in each prefecture work closely to provide SME support. Various specialists, such as SME consultant like myself and tax accountant, work to solve problems, sometimes dispatched to support SMEs. If you look at the national budget, you, can, you will understand quickly the growth strategy cope with new normal society. One of the most critical areas the government is now focusing on the business reconstruction project, encouraging SME to change their business model and expand the new field of business. I will show you some example of how it works. This is the Japan's total national budget. It's roughly 100 trillion yen equal uh, 1 trillion dollars. 5 trillion yen roughly equal 48 billion dollar. This is the five percent of that. Uh, this is the five percent of that budget is COVID related. Looking at the basic policy, you will see the five growth strategy: digital, green society, SME and regions, and resilience and innovation ecosystem. As you can see, the green society and, and SME religion, uh, SME legion are the top two in terms of budget size. Highlight in the blue, digital, SME and ecosystem are related to SME policies. Next, let's take a closer look. On the center, the Green Society, the largest budget is a policy aimed at carbon offset and carbon neutrality. Left hand side, digital revolution is an investment in IT infrastructure and the development of DX technology, digital transformation technology. For SME, we will promote IT and DX digital transformation. For SME and the region, business reconstruction subsidy is the largest project. More than 1 trillion yen in the subsidies have been already allocated. Innovation ecosystem for startup is also included. The following chart to explain the scheme of business reconstruction subsidies. I want to explain the standard type case in the middle of column. For SMEs, food sales drop over 10%, the cost of 1 million yen to a maximum of 60 million yen will be subsidized. The subsidized rate is two thirds. For example, if you spend for 19 million yen, the government will subsidize two thirds, which means 60 million yen. Case study. The first case of 
first case is the challenging, challenge the business mode, changing the business model of the restaurant. The owner used to run a Japanese restaurant, but sales declined due to COVID-19. He closed the store and switched to online ordering and the deliver of bento and the meal box. In that case, the cost of shop remodeling and equipment and advertising costs were subsidized. Detail store case. Company used to sell men's clothing, but sales declined due to COVID-19, same story. As a result, the company scaled down store sales and shifted to online sales and rental business for men's wear. In this case, downsizing cost and new online service system were subsidized. The third case is daycare service. Company used to provide the daycare service for elderly. The user declined. Therefore, the company sold the daycare service to another company. Then the company acquired another business from another company and started the contract food service and administrative services for hospitals. This case, renovation cost and equipment installation and training costs were subsidized. Last case is the manufacturing for aircraft parts. Yeah. Company manufactured aircraft parts, but the demand declined due to COVID. The company disposed some of the facilities and launched the parts manufacturing for medical devices. This case, equipment uh, removal cost, new equipment cost, and the training cost were subsidized. Okay, finally, down to local government support. I'd like to introduce two examples of the local government. One is Tokyo Metropolitan Government. The other is Kagoshima Prefecture. Among 47 local government in Japan, Tokyo Metropolitan Government has the largest economy in GDP size is 100 trillion, which means 1 trillion dollar, and the population of 14 million. This is one fifth of Japan's, Japan's GDP and 11% of the population. As you can see, as uh, Tokyo SME Support Center provide rich support contents for SME from business innovation to human resource development. Here is the example of the medical industrial collaborations. This is the, the goods, is the assistive device that enables standing work without straining the legs. Throughout through the medical industrial collaboration program, Arukeris, the company name, also the product name, has developed an assistive device to support surgical operations by collaborating with doctors at medical university. Originally, they are the small manufacturer only with 50 employees. They have used this program to establish the startup company and expand their business to markets globally. For more detail, uh, please check the attached URL and see the video and more information. This case is the Kagoshima Prefecture. Kagoshima is located about 1,000 kilometers southwest of Tokyo. 
GDP rank is 26 in Japan, just right in the middle, I think. Kagoshima is also very active in SME support. I'd like to introduce a new business de development project that I have been involved in for three years. We invite managers and executives of SMEs in Kagoshima to participate in the six-month seminar and individual coaching. The goal is to help SME, leader, SME leaders learn entrepreneurship, intrapreneurship, and the latest know-how in the new business development, and finally, create their new real business. As a result, from 22 companies in various industries in Kagoshima, 44 people participated in the program and created 39 business plans. Thank you for your listening. Uh, I will over the, my presentations. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Tano, for your presentation, uh, for sharing with us. Uh, the current initiative by the uh, Japanese government on SMEs overall, how much the budget spent for that investment by the government, as well as the local government like Tokyo and as well as Kagoshima, which is later on we can listen for more details from Mr. Hirabayashi about the initiative by the Kagoshima uh, Prefecture. What make me uh, uh, would like to know further based on your presentation, Mr. Tano, when you presented about the business restructuring. So you are sharing a few case studies on the service sector, manufacturing, uh, retails. Okay. Uh, there's a business change and also expansion. So my question is to you is, do you believe that this kind of uh, model change expansions induced by COVID-19, actually, is it going to be sustainable? What is your opinion, yeah. sir? Yes, this is a very tough question. So my answer is no and yes. Yeah, the first no, I don't know that the, the, this business model change by uh, created by COVID-19 will be helpful when, when another disaster or a significant uh, environment change occurred. Mm. Still available or not? I'm not sure, but however, this because uh, however the ability and the experience thinking deeply how we can adapt these changes, those experience is sustainable. Okay, so in that context, answer is yes. Your experience, the way of thinking, and the experience. Uh, the adaptability will be sustainable for another pandemic or for another uh, significant environment change. This is my answer. Thank you, Mr. Tano. So you're thinking about the, if there is nothing, there is no crisis, there will be no uh, immediate response or immediate assistance to the businesses. And there is also no immediate response from the businesses to change if there is no crisis happen. So again, uh, you're talking about a large sum of money, a large sum of budget provided by the government to mm -hmm. give the fund uh, to the SMEs. But what if there is no funding happen by the government? What are the means of these businesses to stimulate innovations? Mm -hmm. uh, what, what is your opinion on that? What is what's um, your... Yes. One of the element and uh, uh, factor to uh, promote innovation is collaboration with others, including business, uh, business associate or stakeholders or new partners within the region or beyond the regions. Okay. To do this, maybe the IT or digitization is the one of the key to uh, work closely with them. Okay. Nowadays, the internet as well as SNS is uh, available 
familiar with, everyone familiar with. Also, IoT and AI are now you can use very uh, reasonable cost. So the one of the key is to communicate uh, work closely with others by using easy to use digital is one of the trigger for enhanced innovation. Thank you very much, Mr. Tano. Thank you very much for your insights, your answers, uh, your opinion about the issues on these uh, SMEs as well as the uh, local government support as well as central government support. So uh, I will get back to you uh, after this. So, but viewers, ladies and gentlemen, uh, now let's move to the another presentation which is by mr hirabayashi uh before i invite mr hirabayashi for his presentation let's enjoy the scenery of kagoshima Yes, so my name is Hirabayashi, uh, Director General of Commerce, Industry, Labor and Fishery Department of Kagoshima Prefecture Government. So I was temporarily seconded from Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry in Japan, Japan, Government of Japan in April, and working on promotion of the industry in the prefecture. Uh, so I would like to take advantage of this opportunity to explain about local situation regarding with the new industries creation project of Kagoshima local government. So I have two main topics which I show you. So I would like to start with the industries first. So regarding the industrial structures, the ratio of the primary industry, which includes, which includes agriculture, livestock, and fishery, is four times compared to the rest of Japan, and we are one of the top producers. 
the agricultural out the agricultural output has been number two after Hokkaido in series of three consecutive years. The Kagoshima is Japan's leading food supply area. The more than 60% of agricultural output is livestock such as beef and pork. The, regarding the fishery output, the aquaculture is rising. The yellow tail and Amberjack are the majority of output from ocean aquaculture and eel is the majority from island. The export value of agriculture, forestry, and marine products has been increasing year by year. The main destinations are United States, Hong Kong, China, and Taiwan. Mainly beef and yellowtail are uh, exported to them, to there. The next is about commerce and industry. The output of manufactured products was 1.7 trillion yen in 2009 after the Great Recession. But it has kept rising thanks to the economic recovery as to trillion yen in 2015 and post, posted record high in 2018. Regarding the structure of manufacturing industry in Kagoshima, output of food and the beverage is more than half thanks to abundant agriculture and marine products. The next largest category is electronics, which accounts for about 15%. There are 58 electronics companies, such as Global Scale, Kyocera, and Sony in this area. And it accounts for about 15% of prefecture manufacturing output. There are 64 automotive companies here. The representative companies are Nitoku Spark Tech WKS, which has the largest share of spark plug in the world, and Toyota Body R&D Company. The last is food manufacturers. Representative companies are potato chip maker Calbi and Global Ocean Works, which processes frozen yellowtail and exports them to North America. And Matoya Technical System Engineering developed more than 15, 40, 40 meat process devices and registered 26 patents. It has global business, including Asia and the United States. From here is today's main topic, new industries creation project in Kagoshima Prefecture. In order to stimulate the economy and increase prefecture income by enhancing earning power of small and medium enterprises, the innovation is important. Uh, to support the efforts for innovation, so we are dealing with programs as follows, startup support, growth of new industries by new technologies, productivity improvement by promoting digital transformation. For creation of new industries and startup support, we are doing three projects, startup support, new business creation network and developing of co-working space. Let me explain about startup support first. We support entrepreneurs comprehensively and continuously at each phase of entry, basics, and practice. Specifically, we hold business plan contests to improve their plans and provide subsidies for commercialization. We also hold workshops among entrepreneurs and college students 
to develop new ideas in order to solve business challenges. In this program, we carry on mentoring and other supports such as entry seminar and basic program based on each phase of startup. The next is the new industries creation network project. In the new industries creation network project, industrial circles, governments, academia, and financial institutions construct networks in order to seamlessly and through, through, truly support enterprises working on creation of new industries. We do intensive and continuous support at all stages from finding business needs to commercialization, to commercialize and exp expansion of sales channels. In detail, we do discovering the business needs, support of matching companies and researchers, and financial support. We have three subsidies. The venture support subsidy is for commercializing, commercializing of research needs such as venture originated from universities. The R&D subsidies mainly support research and development in order to create innovative new technology and products by enterprises. The new business development support subsidy is for from staff development. Consultations by ex experts are uh, 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 available for new business planning and steady implementing of business according to the plan. Mr. Tano here works on supporting business here as a consultant. We also hold business seminars and workshops to force foster momentum or obtain necessary skills for new business development. Mr. Tano also uh, participates in them as a lecture. About a co-working space on the top of floor of Kagoshima government office. The purpose of this project is to welcome youth, women, and startups from both in Japan and overseas and build a community among them to build innovative new businesses ideas this space. It is now under construction for its start in April 2020, 2022. It has nice views from the top floor. It is perfect business environment with views of volcano Sakurajima, symbol of Kagoshima look of sports arena and so on. Creation of agile working and innovations are expected. This is an image diagram of the co-working space. We aim to create innovations in Kagoshima by forming a community among startups from all over the world and domestic digital talents. At another space, we will prepare a kitchen space, which you can try to provide a sample of new functional and healthy food at events. I am talking about the digital transformation promotion project from now. Uh, it is important for small and medium enter enterprises to solve challenges and create innovations by introducing digital technologies. Kagoshima established specialized division in order to strategically carry out digital transformation. We are tackling with a Kagoshima Prefecture digital transformation strategy. We also implement various measures to help SME introduce IoT and AI, such as holding seminars and workshop for them. Well, uh, to increase productivity of SMEs by 
using IoT and AI, we provide them consulting by experts for forming introduction plan as well as subsidies. We also nurture IT-related technical staff. Uh, here, I explain about example in the prefecture, uh, about examples. Venture startups are important player of innovation and the university originated venture enterprises have been born in Kagoshima. Skilled innovation bears such as highly motivated researchers and small and medium enterprises working on developing new technologies and products and enlarging their business to other fields are growing up. The first SUDX Biotech Corporation originated from Kagoshima University is developing simultaneous tests of COVID-19 and influenza A and B types with quick results. This test is the first in the world and won the Grand Award in Prefectural Business Plan Contest. Here, uh, the, this is about enterprises working on developing new technology and products or entering into new business fields. Kirishima Seiko is a precise mechanical metal producer but entered the medical equipment manufacturing market which has been growing and developed a low-priced, compact and precise also the orthodontic appliance. The company has been expanding its sales channels in collaboration with dental care manufacturers in Japan. The Farmer Support is a startup established in 2017. It utilized IoT and AI to create a business to solve challenges in livestock business, which is the main industry in Kagoshima. It developed a system that monitors the movement of cows and notify farmers' smartphone or tablet on sign of calving by using AI's deep learning and IoT technology. Prefecture subsidy was used for research and development, and it is uh, planning to expand its business by funding from banks and venture capitals. Finally, Elm. ELM is a representative venture enterprises in Kagoshima. I will show you a video on project. Located in the southern part of Japan, Kagoshima. Elm headquarters is built on top of a hill surrounded by the sea and mountains. Being in the suburban areas close to nature motivated us to create products in numerous nature-related fields such as agriculture, environment, energy, and space field. Challenging various fields made us flexible in the ever-changing world and business environment. Our fully automatic disc repair machines for CDs, DVDs, books on disc, and Blu-ray quickly and efficiently eliminate scratches and smudges. Elm's solar tracking power generation system not just tracks the position of the sun, it also prevents the solar panels from being shaded and automatically controls the elevation of the panels depending on various weather conditions to maximize power generation. The floating type power generation system utilizes unused school pools as its installation site. The cooling effect of the water to the panels improves the power generation efficiency. Elm's Aqua Fantasy is a full-color LED illumination lighting in water. The system can be installed in bodies of water such as ponds, 
canals, fountains, and sea. Full color illumination makes it possible to create various illumination effects in water. Pictures and characters can be created out with various arrangements using aqua fantasy as dots. Elm has participated in the development and design of CubeSat projects in the past. We are also developing an automatic rocket tracking system together with Interstellar Technologies, a Japanese new space company building private funded space rockets. Our automatic artificial satellite tracking system automatically tracks low orbiting satellites based on trajectory information calculated with the use of our specialized software. The system can be accessed remotely, making it possible to control them on remote fields. Econursery is a container-type cultivation system utilizing automatic robot transfer that can cultivate both microgreens and seedlings. Elm's original rock system and robot conveyor maximize cultivation in a limited space. The software allows total control of econursery including transferring, LED lighting, temperature, humidity, watering, nutrient solution, and CO2. Stable cultivation is made possible throughout the year without being affected by external weather conditions and pests. Our current overseas operations bases are located in Korea, USA, and Brunei. We are starting a project in Brunei Darussalam where we will be developing a cultivation technology to grow temperate vegetables like tomatoes in tropical climate regions using our econursery system. Our econursery container is scheduled to be installed early next year, 2022. This space-saving, lightweight grafting machine makes it possible to make successful tomato grafts even for someone who has little to no experience in grafting. The machine is compact and plug-and-play for easy installation. We give shapes to ideas and distribute them to the world. Innovative products for the world. So there are many enterprises which can do spirits and high, high skill in Kagoshima Prefecture. This is Prefecture. This prefecture is blessed with about food's proximity to Asian countries and has well established transport network. We will continue various projects in order to nourish venture enterprises and startups. If you have some questions, please free, feel free to contact the address of this QR code. Thank you very much. Um, thank you very much, Mr. Hirabayashi, for the presentation, sharing with us the the overview of this Kagoshima. It's also to it's also good to learn that uh, Kagoshima is the second uh, largest in terms of agriculture after Hokkaido. And also thank you for uh, giving us the insight on the uh, plan, the program, the new creation for industries. What actually initiative given by the local government, Kagoshima local government. To the businesses over there so uh i have a few questions if you don't mind uh hirabeshi sang the first one yeah. is uh yeah we are talking about the support to the smes uh there's a lot of many of programs to the SMEs. but how actually you would like to ensure that all this information all this initiative program by the government reach the target particularly the smes how you want to ensure that all these initiatives reach the right target so, well, 
we cooperate with industrial circles, uh, governments, academia, and financial institutions, uh -huh. and information to SME uh, throughout public relations measures such as uh, the, the, the seminar and the mail magazine and so on. Okay, so you are saying about the importance of collaboration, not only from one side, uh, of the Kagoshima local government, but you also partnering with other institutions. Yeah, all in, relations, uh, and, uh, yeah, parties. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. And the second question that I would like to uh, like to get your uh, opinion based on your presentation is: How can the government organizations foster an innovative and ecosystem centric mindset among the employees? This is more related to actually the plan to have this eco space working environment, which is going to be, uh, you know, uh, implemented, not implemented, getting ready by April next year. So, what is your opinion on this? Yeah, it is an important question. So, I think, uh, that, uh, yeah, I have been continuously discussing with my staff. And we regularly study the, in the latest example and have discussions startups, financial institutions, consultants, and so on. So my staff have already worked with the new policies from the point of view of creating innovation and forming their ecosystems. Yes. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Hirabezi Sang. So you're saying about the importance of a leaders like you, you are the leaders in the uh, government's uh, organizations or how you want to inculcate mm -hmm. this kind of innovation culture to your own staff. So this is one of the way uh, to do this kind of uh, activity. So uh, Mr. Tano, so thank you so much for still being with us uh, for this session. My pleasure. Uh, okay, from both presentation, yeah, uh, from, from both presentations, so we found that it's a large amount of investment budget given by the uh, government, either central or local government. Uh, to support the SS, SMEs, and uh, both of you are talking about the digital information, uh, digital uh, transformation or DX, yeah. So, which is part a big sum of money also allocated for DX by the government. So, may I get your opinion? If let's say, uh, how can SMEs, uh, you know, we are talking about Japan, developed country, they can spend, yeah, they can uh, allocate a big uh, sum of money, but what about other countries in APO members? We have 21 members with different, uh, uh, what should I say, different development of economy. So what actually your advice? How the other SMEs to get this kind of uh, uh, support from the other member countries as well? De I'm talking about less developed and developing. Maybe I can start with uh, Mr. Tano. What is your opinion on this? Okay, actually regarding DX, let's say IT or whatever the device or technology, uh -huh. um, actually this technology is available globally, not only in Japan, but also in any other uh, APU countries. Also, there is a need, necessity from uh, SME uh, corporations. However, one big obstacle is lacking of interaction between people who use the digital or are capable of the digital and the people who need, yeah, who run the business. The, for example, often case, okay, the people speak in a different language, like uh, digital people talking language of technologies. And the business people speak in language of management or business. Okay. Therefore, I think uh, we need some facilitator or translator to help bridge the gap between technology and business. As Mr. Hirabayashi explained, the Kagoshima Prefecture that the project is one of the typical examples creating, how do you say, the uh, space to uh, get together, working closely with IT people and the business needs people. 
This is my the opinion. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Tano. You're talking about communication. So, uh, yeah, this is one of the challenge because not all the people are uh, well-versed in IT, for instance, well-versed in DX. Uh, but due to this current situation, everybody has to go to digitization. But uh, that is something that we have to look into, how to make sure there is no communication gap between uh, IT expert and also the business people, as well as the public sector or government mm -hmm. uh, employees. Uh, Hirabaya Sisang, uh, what is your uh, view on this? Yeah, uh, the digital transformation, so DX, give us a chance, even though the economic situation is different. So it's, uh, it's uh, like a leapfrog. So anyway, so uh, the, in Kagoshima, so the local government, we have been widely spending out, spreading out the support measures to SME, and some uh, divisions have been giving the consultation supports. So, and there are various support measures available, such as cult uh, the, the, the cultivation of human resources, the so dispatch of consultants, and the introduction of IT tools. Yes. Okay. Thank you, uh, uh, Hirabayashi san. Thank you very much, Tanu san, for your uh, for sharing your views and opinion on this, in the perspective of uh, management consultants, central government, and also uh, in the perspective of the local government, especially uh, particularly from uh, Kagoshima. So, uh, viewers, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have listened to both presentation from uh, Mr. Hirabayashi as well as Mr. Tano. So now we know uh, what's happening in Japan especially in, uh, in, the, in the perspective of uh, SMEs receiving the support from the uh, central government as local government. So uh, before we end the session today, uh, I would like to have uh, maybe a final remarks or advice from both of you, Hirabai Sisang as well as Tanu Sang, uh, about your advice, especially to the SMEs. Uh, and for Tanu Sang, I would like you to give your opinion on how the SMEs uh, to uh, go through this situation, what is your advice to them uh, to make sure they, they keep uh, relevant and can survive in this business? As well as for Tanus, Hirabai uh, Sisang, I would like you to give your advice for the local government side in other member countries, how they can help the SMEs, what actually they have to do uh, beyond what maybe their uh, regular work because this is not a, a usual situation because people need to do more in order to uh, go through together this hard situation. I, uh, may I start with you, tanu -san? Okay, thank you. Okay. If you have some issue or problem, for example, digitizations, okay, I recommend all of you to take a small, even small step, start something differently. For example, uh, regarding DX issues, why don't you visit the university and uh, talk with a student who have uh, IT capability? They are willing to help you. This is my advice. Thank you so much. Short and simple and very sweet message from you, Tanu san <laughs> <laughs> What about you, Hirabezi san So my message is also short, but uh, I think it's important. Uh, so. The, the 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 small SMEs has to get the very very new information from the government and the other uh, the, the the other yeah yeah the, from government because the government give you the the precise information and also the it's a very uh, the cutting edge. That's why. So there, we have. So you 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 have to follow the. Uh, you have to follow the new situation. Yes. Thank you very much, uh, Hidabayashi san. Thank you very much, Tano san, for your time today, uh, sharing with us uh, your experience as well as your expertise, your knowledge, uh, your. Uh, current situation is very interesting for uh, for viewers i'm sure that uh, you can uh, learn what actually happening in japan 
from the central government Tokyo as well as particularly in Kagoshima uh, shared by Mr. Hirabayashi. So I hope viewers, if you have, uh, uh, once the pandemic over, why not you spend your time to Kagoshima? You can visit a beautiful, uh, uh, what should I say, place in Kagoshima to visit. Okay, thank you so much uh, for both of you, Hirabayashi san Tanusang, for your time today. Uh, viewers, uh, please join our series of APO Productivity Talk this year, featuring experts, uh, policymakers, uh, academy leaders, industry leaders like Tano Sang, like Hirabayashi Sang, uh, to talk about this uh, productivity enhancement. Uh, this session uh, will be included but not limited to uh, productivity new solution. We are talking also about the new work style, the new reformation. Uh, uh, as well as the new skills and upskilling of the employees and workers. So until then, we wish you a loved one to be a very, very best of health and stay productive. Thank you very much.